Hey everybody, Professor Doom here, and I have been away for a couple of days in doing a deep investigation into the whole Danny Castellaro story, and I will be releasing uh, a segment today. I have everything put together for a segment, and we'll talk about that in, when I do that segment. What we're going to talk about right here is Mr. Joe Biden in his own personal New World Order speech that he gave to his supporters. But as we read this, I want you to take note of whoever was transcribing his speech onto the website. I, you know what? I don't know what's more funnier. Listening to the bumbling, incoherent speeches given by Joe Biden or actually reading someone who tran tried to transcribe that bumbling, incoherent speech for us to read. So we're going to take a look at what they're talking about here and just, just read this, and then we'll take a look at the New World Order part about his speech. So this was yesterday, and this was a private residence. Uh, well, thank you very much. Look, you're all standing. I'll try to make this as short and to the point as I can. Folks, I never quite thought of it the way my hostess just explained what she thinks about why people do what they do. You know, I, I was thinking as you were speaking, I was lucky. I won the gene pool. My dad was a really decent, honorable man, very well read, couldn't got into college when he was before the war, but could never afford to go. One of his great regrets. What in the holy hell is he talking about? I still can't figure it out. Uh, but he was really a uh, well-read man, and I learned so much from him uh, just by his example. He didn't preach much, but my dad used to say, Joey, a job is about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about whether or not you can show respect. Um, well, one thing I've learned about Joe Biden is you can never believe anything that he says. And you can never understand anything about of what he's talking about. So now, let's go down here and take a look at his New World Order uh, part of this speech that he gave yesterday. So I think we have an opportunity to do things if we're bold enough and have enough confidence in ourselves to unite the world in ways that it never has before or it never has been. I'm sorry. Whoa, what the heck did I see that? We were in a post-war period for 50 years where it worked pretty damn well, but that's a sort of run out of steam. Sort of run out of steam. Uh, okay. It needs a new, a new world order in a sense like that was a world order. So as down as you all may be, <laughs> I just think that I think we have a real opportunity to unite the world in a way it hasn't been in a long time. And enhance the prospect of peace, not diminish the prospect of peace. Um, and, you know, we need every America, you know, Donald Trump talks about, he tells his supporters, he says, I am your retribution. This is what he says. He means it. He said, we're a failing nation. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to leave off right there. If you, you can actually make heads or tails out about what half of he's talking about. Um, the whole thing is, is all I've been seeing is that Joe Biden has been driving a wedge in between the United States and all the other countries. Um, uh, possibly not Ukraine. I mean, they've been, he's been throwing so much money their direction and so many people are getting their pockets lined over there at the same time and probably money funneling right back into uh, Joe Biden's pockets all at the same time. Um, so what is this whole new world order, especially with everything that we're seeing going on in the Middle East? What can we expect from all of this? 
I thought I would share that all with you. And the reason why it captured my attention is because of the, uh, I'm getting ready to show you guys in this segment about Danny Casalero, some interesting names that he wrote down in papers. All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> 